Good afternoon and welcome. Let me introduce myself. I'm Bobby Nevitt. I'm an application engineer with Rhino Toolhouse, where our mission is to identify and deliver the world's most innovative industrial solutions to you and your customers. Personally, I learned of and met Rhino Toolhouse almost 10 years ago when I was just starting out as a process engineer with a major automotive manufacturer. When I met my sales engineer and my regional manager, I was green. I didn't know anything about tooling, scanners, hoists, end defectors, robotics, nothing. I was green, totally new. So naturally, it took me time to learn about all the many aspects of my job and my position before I gained enough knowledge to actually begin developing projects and bringing in new technologies and being able to buy products. So from the time I started to the time this actually occurred was, was at least two years, probably closer to three. <clears throat> I probably should have been more scared than I was about my first project, but I wasn't. And the reason I wasn't was because of the guys at Rhino Toolhouse. You see, during this time of transition for me, the Rhino Toolhouse guys were always there. They would come in, they would check on me, they'd see how things were going. And I was green, so to me, it was like, oh, these are just sales guys, you know, they're just coming in, just trying to get me to buy something. But this kept on. For years, they kept coming in, they kept checking on me. Even though I wasn't able to buy anything, they still showed up, they brought me new tools they, to look at, they brought me new products that they thought I could use, and they taught me about those things so that when the time came, I would be able to introduce it and pitch it to my management. <clears throat> if I was a professional boxer, they would have been the sparring partners who prepared me for the actual fight. Without them, I would have been unprepared and ill-equipped Ill to win or succeed. There were a lot of issues that I dealt with in my old job, a lot. We had repetitive tasks that were literally, they were so monotonous that the operators would go into a daze and just lose focus and they would mess up the easiest process on the line. We had some that only required an operator to load a small conveyor with parts every 10 to 15 minutes. The only problem was it only took about one to two minutes to load the conveyor. So 90% of their time, they stood around trying to find something to do just to wait to load that one small conveyor again. And then we had the jobs that were super tedious, you know, the most critical job on your line that you could only afford to put your best operator on because you couldn't afford for a defect to get made and cause your product to fail. So do you have a process like this? I'd be willing to bet that you have at least one, if not all three, somewhere on your facility. I want to take a moment to introduce to you a simple highly flexible and cost-effective product that Rhino Toolhouse offers that can solve all three of these problems and many more in your facility. I'm going to introduce and just explain to you about Doosan. Doosan Robotics is a South Korean company that produces a line of collaborative robots for the industrial workspace. <clears throat> I'm sure everyone is aware of traditional industrial robots. You know, the big ones shrouded by a giant safety fence that doubles the work cell size and takes up all that valuable real estate on your production floor. Well, the great thing about a Doosan is that it's collaborative. This means you have the ability to have an operator work directly next to it without any safety fencing or additional safety scanners or sensors. Doosan began sales in mid-2019 give or take, and has already jumped into the top three in global sales for collaborative robotics. They offer multiple options that can handle payloads from six to 15 kilograms, or about 13 to 35 pounds, and reaches of over 1,500 millimeters. So what makes Doosan so special? What gets me all excited about Doosan? How did they grow so quickly? Well, there's a lot of reasons to it, and, and I don't, I'm not gonna take up all your time and, and go into all of it, but I just want to give you a couple of reasons that as a former process engineer really stick out to me. One, top of the class position, position ugh, repeatability of plus or minus 0 0.1 millimeters. I first learned of collaborative robots about 10 years ago when I was still really green in my old job. And I came across it and I was super excited. I was like, oh, these are great. 
but they weren't that great back then. They only had repeatability of about plus or minus three millimeters. Well, in some industries, this is okay. If you're just placing a product into a cardboard box, three millimeters, uh, that's okay. But in my line of work, that wasn't acceptable and wasn't, wasn't good enough. I had to know that whatever I told the robot to do, it could do it without damaging my product all the time, every time. And with the new technologies in place today and being able to integrate vision systems and things of that nature, these robots could place a peg in a hole with less than a millimeter of tolerance. That's incredibly impressive. <clears throat> they also offer industry-leading force sensing technology. Collaborative robots have a couple of ways that they can sense the force when the robot comes into contact with an operator. Doosan chose a safer route by implementing force sensors in every joint of their robot. This allows the robot to be more accurate at sensing impact forces and adjusting, and you can adjust the amount of force that it takes for the robot to stop. So if you want a very sensitive situation where you just brush against it and it stops, you can do that. If, if it's okay, the operator just has to really make contact with it, you can change that as well. But the great thing is all these settings, they comply with OSHA regulations. You cannot override the OSHA regulations and, and still be in collaborative mode. So that allows you to eliminate all that extra safety guarding that takes up all that valuable real estate on your floor, all that's gone. The robot is literally right next to an operator working. <clears throat> the ease of the system. The system is easy. You can see it behind me. Behind me, you've got a control box, a teach pendant, and the robot itself. That's all that's in the box. That's all it takes to get this robot up and going. And you can go from box to setup in about 30 minutes. That's it. That's all it takes to put one in. Now, yes, programming takes a little longer, but literally to get it up and going, you could do it on a simple weekend. Very easy. Robot commands are super simple. The teach pendant is icon-based, so if you can operate a smartphone or a tablet, you can program the robot. Most basic commands are pre-programmed, so you just select them and install them or place them into your program and teach the position, no problem. Also, on the head of the robot, there are teach pendant controls. So you don't have to hold the teach pendant in your hand at all times to teach the robot. I promise, this is no joke. I literally had my 11 year old build and teach a robot program that I used at a demo for a worldwide company to show them how it can pick and place puzzle pieces in and out of a puzzle. It is that easy, super simple. <clears throat> There's a lot more about Doosan, and I could literally geek out all day and ramble on about all the different things that these, ro these cobots can do. All I wanted to do was just kind of pique your interest and get you introduced to them and let you know some of the things that they can do. So go out to your production floor, walk around and see. You'll start seeing these processes that, that you would love to just Put a cobot in and just have it done all the time, every time, and allow your operators to focus on other things. If you want an extra set of eyes, don't hesitate to reach out to us. That's what we do. That's what we love to do. We'd love to come in, walk your floor with you, maybe give you some ideas that you haven't thought of, and see where we think we could be a value-added fit between you, your company, and Rhino Toolhouse. Again, I didn't want to take up too much of your time, and I thank you for the time you've given me, so I'll leave it at this. Rhino Toolhouse has a lot of products that we offer. As a former process engineer and customer, I can promise you that if you have a need in your facility, there's a great chance that we can offer you an incredible product to meet your needs. But more than that, more than that, we will help you train, we will help train you for your next boxing match and give you the information and the support you need to make your project successful. Thank you for your time and have a wonderful day.